YouTube family. This is me again. And today I'm going to talk about um, could you live in a tax deed property? Now, I get this question asked all the time because I do buy tax deeds and people always ask me like, why won't I buy a tax deed to live in it? So I wanted to kind of like talk about that um, and kind of like give some people some ideas as the market starts to shift if you're interested in purchasing properties to live in and if it's even possible, right? So I always tell people that uh, tax deeds, depending on where you're buying them, um, you can live in a tax deed property. Would I live in the properties that I purchase? Mm. I don't think so. Uh, you know, I always tell people uh, just because I've been in real estate for a very long time, I have a different strategy. Instead of me paying six hundred sixty thousand or a hundred thousand for a property, I'd rather spend sixty thousand buying ten properties than uh, paying sixty thousand for one property. Probably because um, when I think about a house that I want to live in, uh, I want it to be like custom made. So. Um, just to answer some people's questions about could you live in a tax deed property? Absolutely. Uh, matter of fact, you know, uh, earlier on this year, I was in Georgia. I looked at some properties for the tax deed auction. They actually had really, really, really nice houses. As you know, I'm in Dallas and uh, I particularly do Tarrant County. I went to a new county this year and drove by some of the properties and I was like, mm mm. I'm not, I can't live in those. Uh, so it honestly really depends on the county that uh, you're investing in and then whatever your price point is. And I mean, you probably could figure out pretty fast, like if you're gonna go to a county and the opening bid is at 1500 and you know the maximum bid is like between 20 and 30, nine times out of 10, that house is not livable. Uh, however, there are some small counties that you can go to like in Georgia where the house is, I wouldn't say so much livable, but they're comparable. I mean, everybody's living standards are like completely different. I'll never forget as being a realtor, um, I was showing a house one time and um, I, you know, I was a realtor in Sacramento, so it's really hot and I was wearing sandals and a roach ran across my foot and immediately I ran out the house and was like, we don't want to see that. But my clients, on the other hand, the roaches didn't face, face them. They were like, oh, we love this house. And so from that experience, I learned that what I see as livable is going to be completely different than what somebody else sees as li livable. So like I said in the beginning, the type of home that I'm looking to live in is more so custom, you know, custom built, something that I would, you know, want already done even though i could fix and flip it i'm literally like over that you know whole fix and flip thing uh but the tax deeds is very good for those that are interested in fixing and flipping or even buying and holding and putting a little work in it i'm at the point where i don't want any more um things that i have to like pour money in to get money out i'm more so like buy it wholesale it and get rid of it that's where i'm at however there are some properties like i said in georgia where the properties were pretty decent so to answer your question can you buy tax deed homes to live in absolutely um there are so many properties as i have been looking uh, i will be having an overage cohort um, and every time i do that i learn something new about a different county because it just lets me know that there are so many counties out there that offer free, not only say free, but really cheap like properties, land. Um, so I just wanted to kind of give you a video on, could you live in a tax deed property? Absolutely. Will you pay some money for it? Yes, but it will not be at retail value. Uh, so that's my little two cents on, could you live in a tax deed property? Um, for those that are interested in wanting to know more about overages, check out my next video. I'm gonna be talking about overages in my upcoming overage course that I finally did all the groundwork for. Um, I will be offering for November 14th. Um, please check out my IG. I will be going live on November 10th. Um, I'm going to be doing a live Q&A for those that are interested more so in overages and I also will be offering an overage cohort for November 14th. Hopefully we can get some gifts and some money to people that need it for the holidays. So happy investing and I hope this video helped on could you buy tax deed properties to live in.